Today I am going to be showing you how to boil and peel an egg and also how to make this egg sandwich that I really enjoy. But first, a history. So first I'm going to be showing you how to boil and also peel an egg after you boil it and then I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite egg sandwiches. I will be speaking this just over this video that I videoed and if you watch the beginning of this video then you will know that I had a really hard time peeling an egg and I don't know why but I just couldn't do it. And then after I posted that on Instagram, a lot of people gave me advice and I was really grateful for that. This was a game changer. You basically just tap your spoon and create this like crack in it. Um, and that basically makes sure that your egg is completely boiled and also makes the whole peeling process easier. But this time I kind of overdid it which was really sad, but um, I basically went, just kind of tapped the spoon a bit too much, which you don't need to, so like a bit of the egg came out, and that's not really what you want happening, and I'll show you why later. But basically, this process works, and I highly recommend this strategy. Anyways, then you're going to want to put the egg into your um, water and make sure that it's completely submerged, which in my case it was not, so I just added some water. And then the next step is to make, is to boil your water. Oh, and you can add in salt if you want to, which was another piece of advice that I got from some of my friends. I don't exactly know what this does, but apparently it helps, so I just decided to put some salt in. Maybe it changes the way that your egg boils completely. Maybe, I don't know. So then after you wait for your water to boil, which takes about 
in my case it took about five minutes, you are going to want to lower the heat or completely stop the heat and then leave it in for about seven minutes, which is what I did, so that in total the time becomes 12 minutes. And this makes sure that your egg boils completely. Then um, you want to fill a bowl with like cold water or even put some ice in it to make sure it's really cool. So basically, because of my overdoing of the cracking in the first step, my egg came out looking really weird um, basically, some of the egg cooked on the outside, so it looks really um, ugly, but basically it works, so yeah. So as you can see, um, it does not look like a perfectly boiled egg, so it's not a great example, but it's still perfectly boiled, and honestly this kind of grossed me out, um, but yeah. So then after about a minute or so, you are going to want to peel your egg under running cold water, and this makes sure that it gets peeled perfectly, and then so this time, for this video, I think I did a pretty good job of peeling my egg, um, except for the fact that I actually kind of messed up at the very end, which you will not be able to see, hopefully, because I kind of covered it up, and I am only going to be showing you the prettier angle of my egg. So yeah, this is my perfectly boiled and peeled egg. It's definitely a strategy that works. So next you're going to want to mash your egg which is the next step to making your sandwich. And I'm going to be using a fork for this. I actually did not have a fork with me until now, which means that for nine months, I just did not own a fork. I was basically using chopsticks, but I bought this at the at Daiso, which is a Hyokuen store, like a dollar store. And I found this Kuretama design, which I thought was really cute. So I'm very happy about it. Before that, I was using a knife to mash my egg, which was working pretty decently, but I thought that I would try to look a little bit more civilized for this video, and also I think that owning a fork is kind of a one of those basic utensils. Anyway, since it's new, I just kind of washed it. So as you can see here, the egg is perfectly boiled, so this whole method works very well. So if you don't know how to boil an egg, then hopefully what you saw is going to help you. So now I'm going to mash my egg, and weirdly I found that the knife was a lot easier to work with. That's probably because I've been working with using that this whole time. But a fork is definitely nicer, I think. Um, so the next ingredient to put into the egg is mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, I don't know if this is a sandwich you're going to want to make. Although you can't really taste it, so it's kind of like this important ingredient. And you can put in other things, or mix in other things, like herbs or salt and pepper, but this time I kind of just stuck with mayonnaise and didn't add anything else. And then you're going to want to mix this all together, and this is basically the main and most important ingredient or part of the sandwich, and everything else is 
purely preference of what you want to add into your sandwich. So when I went to the supermarket just a few days before, I decided to buy myself a little bit more of an expensive toast. This is a whole wheat toast that is a bit more expensive than normal just white toast, um, which is normally what I buy. But this time I just thought that I just wanted to try this toast and also it's a healthier option and I thought it would taste better than it did. So. I was very happy about it, and it tasted really good. So yes, but basically you can use any bread that you like, and you can also make it like an open toe situation. And my toast was in the fridge, so that's why I decided to toast it a little bit first. Um, so like if your toast is in the freezer or something, you might want to toast it a little bit, but again, this is kind of like your toast, how to your toast preferences, whether or not you like your toast very toasted or not. I am on the side where I prefer to more toasted toast. So then on one piece of the toast, I kind of spread out this egg um, mixture. And then I am going to put on um, a slice of cheese which again is completely up to you whether or not you want to put cheese on. So I toasted this again, which um, if you toast it the first time and you don't like your toast very toasted, then you might skip this step. But as I said, I really like toasted toast, so I put it back in and also I wanted my cheese to melt on top of the egg. Um, I did end up toasting my toast a little bit too much, but I kind of like that. So. back to where I am cooking. Um, if you haven't seen in my previous videos, this is the dorm kitchen. I live in a dorm and this is the kitchen situation. It is really nice and very useful. And then on one, the other side of the toast, I am going to put on some butter and yes. So the last ingredient that I used for this sandwich was some slices of thinly was some thinly sliced thinly sliced, oh my god, I can't say this, with some thinly sliced cucumber. And you can put on like any other, other vegetables that you like, for example, avocado, tomatoes, or even lettuce. It all tastes really good with this egg. I know everyone has different preferences of sandwich um, shapes, like triangles or squares or rectangles, but I kind of like the rectangular shape. Also, I am cutting my sandwich 
on my wooden plate with this really small knife but I highly do not recommend doing this. It's not that great for the plate. So this is my final sandwich and it tastes really good. So if you like eggs or if you like sandwiches and you haven't tried this yet, I recommend this recipe. It's so easy and it tastes really good. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you if you didn't know how to boil an egg or in my case, peel an egg or if you just needed some sandwich inspiration.